It's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 26th of July. I'm Michael Groff. What more can be said? This historic, record-breaking heat wave will just continue for the rest of the week. But I've got some good news finally. It looks like this will be coming to an end by this weekend and early next week as a more active monsoon pattern finally comes on in here with better rain chances and much lower temperatures. And I'm talking at least 15 degrees cooler. I'll say the word cooler than what we're experiencing now. All right, we'll get into it here in just a moment. Let me check this out here. Here we go. Let's take a look at the running total for the month of July so far. Yesterday, we did it again. We have continued our streak now 26 consecutive days with a high temperature at or above 110 degrees. That started on June the 30th and it has continued ever since. And now for the month of July, the average temperature, an incredible 102.9 degrees. We are blowing out the old record. Even if it does cool off this weekend, that will not stop us from having the hottest July and actually the hottest month ever recorded in Phoenix. All right, let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. Yeah, 119, the afternoon high. 93, the morning low. Both of those are records. Obviously, 106 and 85 are the uh, average temperatures here in Phoenix. And let me just take a look at this. Uh, This is, um, and I don't know, the the format, it's not properly formatted on my screen, but there it is. Uh, 98 has been the low temperature so far this morning at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. 98 degrees. I knew we were in trouble when I woke up and it was 102 at 4 a.m. So I've never seen that. The reason I've never seen that is because it has never happened. Uh, this unpre- It's just another thing that's unprecedented here in Phoenix. Looking outside right now, just after 6, we've got 99 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 52, humidity 21%, winds light, barometer steady. The upper air weather pattern around the nation We're using a different map every single day. I promise you this, but it just looks almost identical day after day. These short waves moving across the northern tier states and up into southern Canada, and that brings periods of showers and thunderstorms, especially to the Great Lakes in the northeast. They've just been hammered all summer by these. Unfortunately for us, it's just a ridge of high pressure that has not moved much at all for the last nearly a month now. Sitting over the southwest and the southern plain states, and unfortunately, it's an incredibly hot ridge, too, with uh, upper heights between 597 and 600 decameters. And so the reason we haven't really seen much in the way of shower or thunderstorm activity, we tell you this every day on these videos, just because the mid-levels of the atmosphere are just too warm and the ridge just sitting where it is. It's put a cap on the atmosphere for us. Now, around the periphery, you can see in northern Mexico, showers and thunderstorms. We are expecting this ridge to weaken and move off to the east by this weekend. That will give us better chances of storms. Now, checking out the watch warning map. Speaking of heat, plenty of that for the nation's midsection from Dallas up to Tulsa, Oklahoma, Kansas City, St. Louis, Springfield, Indianapolis. It's just going to be roasting today. Heat advisories there. Got some air quality alerts way up north. We also have our excessive heat warning. It just continues here in Phoenix until 8 p.m. Friday, And maybe the National Weather Service will not need to extend it beyond that because temperatures, maybe it might have to be extended to Saturday. But beyond that, temperatures are expected to lower substantially with better rain chances in here. The convective outlook for today, we've got the enhanced risk of severe storms around Fort Wayne, Indiana, Muskegon, Michigan, Detroit, Lansing, Toledo, Ohio. And that broader risk of severe storms for much of the central Great Lakes, as well as the central and northern Plain states, Here in Arizona, most of the state in the green, thunderstorms possible. And while 
We don't anticipate organized severe weather. Any one storm this time of year can always become severe. That's what I tell you every day whenever we show you these graphics because, um, it, you know, that's just the nature of the monsoon. And again, I know Phoenix is shown to be in the green here, too. There is an outside shot. We could see a thunderstorm today, but I just wouldn't bank on it. However, take a look at this. This is the precipitation outlook. Valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix around a third of an inch. Could see anywhere from one to two inches for the rim country, the eastern mountains, and parts of far southern Arizona. As, yes, finally more active weather comes in. We'll talk about that in more detail. Here we go to the models, the GFS. The 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and it's the same old story. Uh, we got these short waves moving over southern Canada, the northern tier of the United States, but here it's a 597 heat dome over New Mexico and eastern Arizona. What it means for us down at the surface today, mostly sunny sky, some high clouds at times, high temperatures this afternoon, anywhere from 114 to 119. Probably a repeat of yesterday, and there is a chance the national blend of models giving us just under a 20% chance of hitting 120 degrees, and I have no doubt that some of your thermometers around here, not talking your car thermometers because those are always way off, but some of your thermometers could very well hit 120. It would not be surprised. We saw that yesterday. We'll probably see it again today. Widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms over northwest Mexico, isolated storms in eastern Arizona, and maybe one or two try to get into the lower deserts, including Phoenix, but the most likely outcome, if we see anything at all, which we probably won't, but if we do... Uh, we would more than likely just see gusty winds and blowing dust. All right, tonight, that isolated evening storm possible. Otherwise, very warm. Lows mid-80s to mid-90s, partly cloudy sky. And then tomorrow, more the same, but temperatures trend down a degree or two. Highs 112 to 117. The sky is partly sunny. And the air mass still remains relatively dry. Only isolated storms over the eastern part of the state. Friday, again, highs 112 to 117. Isolated storms in the over the mountains, the rim country with an isolated storm maybe trying to form over the deserts, gusty winds and blowing dust possible. Actually, I would say Friday might see a slight uptick in the number of storms, but just not that many. Uh, but temperatures, uh, the national blend of models, I think at last look, it was about a 3% chance we could hit 120 on Friday. I don't expect it. Uh, the Of course, Friday, I don't think we're going to have a record because the record there is 121 degrees set in 1995. So I think we'll avoid that. That is one day this month we can safely say, well, we can relatively safely say we'll avoid the record books. All right. Now, here comes the change in the weather pattern. It starts Saturday, kind of a transition day here. The ridge is moving off to the east. Southeasterly flow develops and better chances of showers and storms as the mid-levels of the atmosphere will cool ever so slightly. And so uh, we'll bump the rain chance up to about 40% for Saturday night as storms will become more numerous. And... With the with Arizona being on the periphery of the ridge now, more likely that we'll see some disturbances or an inverted trough or maybe an MCV coming in here at some point uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to enhance shower and thunderstorm coverage. We expect that on Sunday, partly sunny with numerous showers and storms over the mountains, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours here in the deserts. Now, high temperatures are going to trend down. We'll be around 108 to 113 Saturday. 105 to 110 on Sunday. The National Weather Service is forecasting 110 Sundays, so taking their forecast at face value, the streak will roll on through Sunday, but I believe Sunday might be the day we break our streak. Monday is looking more likely with considerable cloudiness around, numerous mountain showers and storms, scattered showers and storms over the deserts. They, of course, will be most common in the afternoon and evening hours, and high temperatures falling back further to around 100 to 105. Same thing Tuesday. Scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms and temperatures 100 to 105. And, you know, that's close to, if not even slightly below average. All right, here's a week from today, Wednesday, the 2nd of August. And now our ridge is actually uh, all the way over there in the southeast U.S., over the Gulf Coast and uh, the deep south, 597 upper heights there. We're on the western periphery of the ridge. And in fact, little baggy trough just off the west coast and that might switch the flow aloft more out of the south or southwest which would be less favorable for bringing thunderstorms in here but temperatures would remain a bit lower highs around again 100 to 105 but unfortunately as we go out 10 days this is friday the 4th of august 
597 Ridge is back near the Four Corners. Good news, it's near the Four Corners. Bad news, it's a 597 Ridge, which means it's very warm. And so temperatures would be soaring once again well above 110 degrees if this verifies with only widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. Rainfall for Phoenix. This goes out through the 9th of August off the GFS Ensemble. The mean is up around two-thirds of an inch. And temperatures off the national blend of models. It's printing 118 for today. Whether it's 118, 119, 120, 117, it's all hot and it's all record-breaking. And then temperatures will lower. Now, it says 109 here as we go into early next week. I think temperatures will be lower than what is shown here. But there may be a rebound with some drier air uh, by the latter part of next week, unfortunately. All right, David wants to know if we can go way out into fantasy land for our forecast here. And when we talk about fantasy land on these videos, what do we mean? Well, on our models, anything beyond seven days is kind of iffy. But anything 10 days out and further is fantasy land. It's the realm of make-believe. You know, you're in the land of wind and ghosts at that point. Uh, but let's do it anyway. Just for the heck of it, why not? So this is the GFS. We're going to go out to Saturday, the 5th of August. And this is the reason that we don't usually show the, this far out on our forecast or on our model runs here. Because the GFS will do some ridiculous solution like a broad 600 decameter ridge over much of the southwest. I mean, let's, if this verified, let's just talk about this a little bit. If this verified, we would be absolutely roasting. Again, highs 115 to 120 would be a no-brainer here. And how about a, look at that, it's got a 594 ridge all the way up into the Gulf of Alaska. And they would be setting records up there. Now, I saw earlier this week Fairbanks uh, highs were up in the upper 80s with dew points in the mid-60s, which is very unusual to have dew points in the mid-60s in the interior of Alaska. Uh, so it's just more of the incredible heat that we've been seeing, not only here in the southwest, but around the world. Uh, now, not to say that upper 80s have never happened in Alaska. They certainly have, but uh, such moisture levels is what's more concerning to me. All right, now let's go way, way out. I mean, we're in fantasy land plus here now as we as we uh, venture all the way out to Saturday, the 10th of August. How about this? Um, now we've got some troughing coming into the northwest. Uh, our ridge is weakening now. It's uh, 594 ridge, and it's suppressed well to the south and east of us. And if that's right, temperatures would trend down, and uh, we would be fairly dry, though, in that kind of a setup. But again, this is nothing but make-believe that you're looking at here. All right, that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com and .org. And of course, the Facebook page by the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle, so do check her out. And thank you guys so much for watching and all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves an absolutely delightful Wednesday. Wednesday.